Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming. Um, in the interim time, when we can be all together again after hopefully COVID's been gone, and we're looking at maybe October doing some outdoor yoga. Um, but until then, we have these online videos. So we're going to start today. I'm going to work on some shoulders and some back. It's not typically we start the class standing, and those of you that know me. So let's, everybody, let's come into a standing position. And we're going to press into the four corners of our feet. We're going to microbend our knees. We're going to lift up from our quads. We're going to lift our shoulders up, back, and down, dropping them down. And lift the crown of your head toward the ceiling and take a deep breath in. Exhale, out, and again, inhale. And exhale. And let's bring our hands together. Namaste. Close your eyes if you haven't done so. And on an exhalation, bow your head forward, looking inwards, connecting with your purpose for being here this afternoon. Think about what you'd like to accomplish with this practice and set your intentions. Now lift your chin up, release your hands, slowly open your eyes. Raise your arms overhead. We're going to reach up nice and tall for the ceiling. We're going to bend our knees slightly, and we're going to sweep the floor with our hands. We're going to sweep. Arms back up overhead, reaching up nice and tall, caging your core. And again, down, sweep the floor. Come back up. Reaching nice and tall. And again, let's sweep the floor. Bring your arms up overhead. Take hold of your left wrist with your right hand. Come over to the side and hold it. Don't hold your breath. Come back to center. Change wrists, other side. Back up to center, release. Slowly bring your arms down to the side. I'm going to press them back and hold them and release. If your arms get tired, take a break. Arms up, press them back. It's the opening of the chest and hold them and release forward. And last one. Press back, hold. And release it down and shake your arms out. I've been doing some looking at some uh, YouTube videos, and they have lately a lot of videos on this condition where you have a little hump at the back of your neck. And that comes from doing this all the time. And you get this little bump out here, and the fat grows over it. So they're saying the way to get rid of it is to do these particular exercises. So I've been trying them. We're going to try them today. We're going to hold them each for mm, try 30 seconds each, but if you get tired, drop your arms down. So let's bring our arms up overhead. We're going to hold them. Shoulders are down. You want to lift up from the crown of your head nice and tall. Keep breathing. I know it seems like a long time. It's only 30 seconds. Now let's bring our arms to a T. Make sure you're lifting up from the crown of your head. Hold it. We're going to bend our elbows in and press your shoulder blades together. It's going to pop open the chest a little bit. Now drop your elbows towards the side of your body. Same thing. Shoulder blades together. Chest is lifted. Chin is up. And release them down. Shake your arms out again. Let's do that again, because that really wasn't 30 seconds. So arms up overhead, lifting, lengthening, reaching for the ceiling. Breathing. Let's 
slowly bring your arms to the side, teeing them out. Press your shoulders back a little bit. Bend at the elbow. And drop your elbows in, chest is open, arms are out. And release, very nice. Let's bring our right arm across our chest, place your chin on that shoulder, look away. Now bend your elbow and pat yourself on the back. Let's tuck that shoulder in a little bit deeper. Release, other side. Bending at the elbow, patting yourself on the back, tucking the tricep in. And release. And let's come into a comfortable seated position. And this should look a little more familiar. Just let the back of your wrist rest on your thighs. And we're lifting up nice and tall. We're going to spread our arms out wide, starting with the hugs. Bring your right arm in on top of the left. Take hold of the backs of your shoulder blades. Chin can drop forward. And release, arms out wide, other side, left arm in on top of the right. And release again, arms out wide. We're gonna bring our right arm in, wrap it around the left as best you can, palms together, backs of the hands, any one of these will work. And let the edge of your fingertips rest at the center of your forehead. Now, if you'd like to take this deeper, that's always optional. Press your elbows away from your body just a tiny bit, deepening the stretch. Hold it. And release. Last time, arms out wide, left arm in. Wrap around the right, palms together, backs of the hands. Again, press your elbows away, deepening the stretch, and hold it. And release. Now take your right hand, place it near your right hip, left arm, lift and lengthen, come over to the side and hold it. We're going to circle the arm three times, so do this gently. So there's one, two, and last one. Back up to center, change hands, lift, lengthen. Come over to the side three times. One, and two, last one, and three, hold it. Come back up to center, press with both of your palms, pressing up toward the ceiling and hold it. Now actively press out to the side, hold. We're going to press forward, and as you do so, round your head forward. We're going to round our spine a little bit, warming it up. And again, palms up toward the ceiling, hold. To the side. And forward. Head bows down, small arch. And one more time, if your arms get tired, bring them back down. Palms up. Side. 
Last time forward. And release. So let's do some shoulder shrugs. So lift your shoulders up towards your ears. Hold them. And drop them down. And again, up. And down. One more. Up. And down. Now let's roll the shoulders. So lift your shoulders up towards your ears. Roll them back. Drop them down. And again. Up. Back. And down. Again. Up. Back. Down. A few more times. And last one. And down. So drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. You can close your eyes if you wish. Make sure you keep breathing. Roll your chin forward, chin to chest. Right ear to right shoulder. Again, chin forward, chin to chest. Left ear to left shoulder. And slowly bring your head back up to center. Let's repeat that. So left ear, left shoulder. We're going to make this more fluid. Rolling forward to the right side and up. Let's go back. Right, forward, left. Slowly up. One more. Full set. So left, forward, right. And back up, last time. Right, forward, left, back up to center. Now look to the left side and hold it. And this tends to be an ability we lose as we age, and it's really important when you're driving a car to be able to look over your shoulder. So come forward, right side, hold. Center and left. Center, right. Center, last time, left side. And center, last time, right side. Come back to center. So let's place our hands on our thighs again, and we're going to take our right hand on our left knee, and our left hand goes behind us. We're going to lift up from the crown of our head, and we're going to twist to the left side. You can press into your back hand and hold it. Walk your hands back through center, other side, lift, lengthen, inhale, exhale, and twist, and hold it. Let's do two more times each side, so come back through center, lift, lengthen, twist, and hold. Walking back through center, lift, lengthen, and twist. Back through center, last time. Left side. Back through center, lift, length, then twist. Hold it, last time, right side. And come back to center. Let's bring our feet together into Baddha Konasana. 
And just allow your legs to naturally drop out to the side. Don't force them down. And sit up nice and tall. We're sitting up from the pit of the abdomen, tucking it in nice and strong. Now use your hands to open up the soles of your feet. And the intention, and I know you're going to laugh, the intention is to get all ten toes on the mat. Yes, I have seen it done. I can't do it, but I have seen it done. My son did it. <laughs> and use your hands, close your feet. Bring your legs back together. Bring them out in front of you. We're going to point our toes and we're going to flex. And again, point and flex. One more time, point and flex. Now sit up nice and tall. Take your hands, place them behind your hips and bring your shoulder blades together. It's going to open the chest. Walk your hands back just a little bit. And again, we're going to point our toes. And we're going to flex. And again, point. Flex. Last time, pointing. And flexing. Coming back to center. Now let's work our hamstrings. So bring your arms up overhead. Lifting up, lifting up from the crown of your head, the pit of the abdomen. Take a deep breath. And we're going to hinge forward just a little bit. Keep holding, keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale, hinge forward a little bit more. If you need to bring your hands down, you can place your hands on your thighs, your ankles, the sides of your legs. And one more time, inhale, exhale, come forward a little bit more. You should feel this in your hamstrings. Shouldn't hurt if something hurts, back off. There's no pain in yoga. And let's walk our hands back up to center. Now bend your right leg, tucking it in placing the sole of your right foot on the inside of your thigh, and we're going to do the same thing. Again, we're lifting up nice and tall. We're lifting up from the crown of the head. Arms up, overhead, inhale. Exhale, hinge forward a little bit. Hold it. Inhale. Exhale, hands can come down. And you're probably not going to be able to take this as far because your knee is going to be in the way. Again, inhale, exhale, come forward, hold it, and walk your hands back up to center. Now take your opposite hand from the knee, place it on the knee, and your back hand goes behind you, and we're going to lift up, lift length, and we're going to twist toward the bent knee, hold it. Walk our hands back through center like we did before. Now we're going to twist away from the bent knee. Lift up, lengthen, twist. Come back to center. Now with the same leg as the down leg, reach out with your hand for your toes. If you can reach your ankle or any part of your leg. Back hand comes up. We're going to lift, reach forward as best you can. And come back up to center. Straighten both legs. Shake them out. Let's do the other side. Tucking that foot on the inside of the leg. Bring your arms up overhead. Inhale. Exhale, hinge forward and hold it. And again, inhale. 
Exhale, coming forward, hands can come down, hands can stay up, your choice. Deep breath in, exhale out, coming on down. And let's walk back up to center. Opposite hand onto the knee. Lift, lengthen, and we're going to twist toward the knee. Hold it. Back through center, other side. Lift, lengthen, twist away from the knee. Hold it. Come back to center. Same hand as the down leg. We're going to reach for our ankle or our toes. Back arm comes up. Come forward. Take hold of whatever you can reach. And come back up to center. Bring your legs together. Shake them out. And let's split your knees just a little bit. We're going to do some more hamstring work. You don't have to get particularly wide with us. If you have blocks, you can use them and place them in front of you for your hands. You don't have to have blocks. So we're going to sit up nice and tall. And we're going to, this is what we're doing. We're going to the right and left and then forward. The important part of the forward is we're rolling from the inside of our thighs, not crunching from our back. It's inside of the thighs rolling, okay? So place your right hand near your right knee, lift the other arm, Back up to center, change sides, lift, lengthen, and reach. If you've already done a lot of these, you might be a little warmed up. Back up to center, place your hands on the mat in front of you, or if you have blocks, and just hinge forward a little bit. And if that feels okay, you can come forward as much as you want. Remember, it's not supposed to hurt. Flex the ankles. Keep breathing. Hamstring stretch. And use your hands to walk yourself back up to center. Right hand to your right knee, left arm up, lift, lengthen. If you can reach anything, that's great. If not, Back up through center, other side, lift, lengthen, and reach. And back up through center, place your hands on the mat in front of you. And we're rolling from our thighs, coming forward. Feet are flexed. And use your hands to walk yourself back up. Last one. Right hand near your right knee. Left arm up. Lift, lengthen, and reach. Back up through center. Other side. Lift, lengthen, reach, and hold. Back up through center, place your hands on the mat, hinging forward. You might notice as you're more warmed up, you can come down a little bit lower. Or not, that's okay. (sighs) 
And walk your hands back up. Bring your knees in, come back into a cross-legged position. Rest the back of your wrists on your thighs, close your eyes. Settle in and connect with your breath. Inhaling through your nose. Exhaling out through your mouth. Again, inhale. And exhale. Drop your shoulders down. Soften the muscles of your belly. Relax your mind, knowing at this moment there's no place you need to be and there's nothing you need to do. Take another deep breath in. Exhale it out. And let's bring our hands together again. Namaste. Bow your head forward. Looking inwards and connecting with your purpose for being here again. Express gratitude to you, from you, for spending this quality time on yourself. This is for your health and your well-being. Now lift your chin up. Slowly begin to lift your hands up to the level of your forehead for pure thoughts. And then your lips for kind words. And your heart center for love and compassion for others, and most especially for yourself. Namaste. Thank you guys. I look forward to seeing you in October.